Prime Minister, thank you very much for speaking to us today. I wanted to ask you, we are still in the midst of this crisis. There, we're sitting here, there are police outside, rolls of barbed wire. Mm -hmm. In the next couple of weeks, can you placate the protesters and their demands that you step down? Uh, I think right now the protester would like uh, to have the people council. In democracy, we need to hear everyone. So under the constitution, under the law, so we have to follow by that, that, that process. So I think that's only one thing that we would like to ask the protester that please do understand us. That's why we open the dialogue for all the group to, to find a way together for Thailand. You mentioned we're in the process building out to elections on the 2nd of February. For those elections to take place, you need a credible opposition to participate. Mm -hmm. We understand yeah. that the Democrat Party are currently considering their participation. What will you do if they announce tomorrow that they're not going to take part? A Democrat Party uh, is the party that's very old party. I think that he's the, the uh, uh, Democrat is the oldest of the party, and also will be have the principle, uh, the stick with the the constitution. So I hope that uh, uh, Democrat will make decision to join the election. So make the Thailand back on the track, and of course that the topic of the political reform or reform will be uh, uh, the one agenda that all the party have to handle because all the this is the request and I think we, we see the same thing we are open that I think in Thailand we need to reform anyway absolutely except that we are in this position because of an amnesty bill that your party proposed that it mm -hmm. pushed through it was deeply unpopular with your own supporters the red shirts who didn't like the amnesty it was going to give to those involved in the 2010 crackdown many people say it's a, a personal favor to your brother to bring him back do you regret introducing that amnesty bill i think let me talk about this i don't think people deny on the amnesty but people might not agree on the detail of the element of the amnesty but I think all the, the information is like maybe uh, the, the miscommunicate, so make people misunderstanding about this act. So that's why a lot of people, but anyway, all the party concern already, uh, commitment to the public that won't bring this amnesty bill again. So I think this is already over, but the protesters still keep raising of the point until not be uh, not uh, satisfied with the amnesty will, but right now they would like to propose the people council, which doesn't have exist in this law. So that's why we can't fulfill their need. We try every day, every time. You you can see that our government have very uh, try to uh, keep e open the floor or any open the dialogue for the protester to talk to us or to talk to whoever can be the, the coordinator to talk. So this, that's why you can see many protests that we, 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 we propose. It's, I think, well accepted that your party uh, will probably win an election in February with a, probably a very large majority as you did two years ago. But the fact remains is there's still a very large section of Thai society which is unhappy with your leadership, which is unhappy with your family and your party. How can you possibly work with those people, particularly given that they are in positions of power in the establishment? The next election, I don't know that whoever will win, I can't tell. The chance might go to Democrat if people support and if the protesters support. So that's why we return the power by this soap. And then I think when the next election, that will be, uh, uh, will be uh, will be the decision making of the majority of the people. That's followed by the, the democratic process. But we are locked in something of a cycle of political deadlock. Right. Uh, your government comes into power, we see protesters out on the streets, your government is deposed, then we see the other side coming out but on the streets. We've seen that repeated seven times now. But I think, yes, we understand the cycle. So you have to have the principle that you have to accept or recognize the voice of the people. So that's why we need the right process. But I think oh, one thing that, um, of course, that whoever going to win election, they will bring the topic of the reform of the countries. You do keep winning elections. Your brother kept winning elections and yet you are not allowed to stay in power. 
we've seen massive protests. They're well funded, they're well organized. They have a symbolic leader in Mr. Sutep. But who do you think is really behind this? Who really wants your family to step down from power? I don't know. I can't tell. I think that's why I, I don't know. I just know that we have to find any mechanism that to, uh, people respect of the majority of the decision of the people. So that's why uh, we call for election. But I don't know any other mechanism that can help. And I don't know uh, uh, who support Kun uh, but I know the only thing that, only one thing that we know by the vote of the people.